I walk through the tunnel, past the fireworks, past the cheering crowds and television cameras, to find myself standing inside the most famous robot gladiator arena in the world. It always looks bigger from inside. This familiar fragrance exists nowhere else in the world. This blend of seared rubber, red hot metal, and cooked electronics lingers heavy in the motionless air. After 20 years of exposure, my Pavlovian response to this potion sends my heart racing. I can feel the hollow echo of each footstep on the elevated steel floor beneath me. The steel is scarred from over a hundred battles waged to decide this very moment. I glance down at Witch Doctor and my mind races as I try to imagine every iteration of the next three minutes. I take a deep breath and turn to face the roar of the crowd. The rumble is oddly distorted by the thick walls of the battle box in a way that makes it feel distant, but comforting. I take a second to look around and try to absorb this moment. In the far right corner of the bleachers, in the very last row, I lock eyes with a young girl who was waving her handmade witch doctor sign. I bow my head in gratitude as I wave to her. She responds by stretching out her arms and wiggling her fingers, just like we're about to do for the cameras one last time this season. I hope we make her proud. I turn back toward the center of the battle box. I see the other team going through the same ritual. I've stood here so many times before, with the same mixture of pride and doubt, accomplishment and nerves. It's an impossible combination of hushed confidence and sheer panic. My body aches. This pause welcomes the exhaustion I've been outrunning for the past 14 days. I clench my hands and I feel the sting of a thousand small cuts and bruises. My thighs burn from endless hours racing around the pits and contorting into awkward spaces for repairs. This is our second battle of the day and it has been a frantic race to rebuild Witch Doctor one last time. I stand at the blue square with my teammates by my side. I am so lucky to get to take this wild ride with them. The skeleton jackets and top hats that once felt silly now serve as a reminder of who we are and why we do this. We're all taking in our wildest dream, competing in the world championship final of BattleBots. I'm so proud of our team for getting to this moment but I'm even more proud that we've done it in skeleton jackets and top hats. We can be colorful and destructive. We can start with costumes and voodoo fingers and end up in the finals. I hope we're showing the world that robotics is for everyone. In an effort to make time stand still, I pull up my phone from my back pocket and we take a selfie with the audience behind us. It comes out blurry, which is probably the most appropriate freeze frame of this moment. The lights dim. The camera looks up at us as the hush falls over the crowd. And the blue square, Abracadabra Alakazam. This bot's the jam. Seven times she was tested. Seven times she prevailed. Just one victim left to the unholy grail. Here to seize the crown and take bite force down. It's Witch Doctor!